And many of you watching are preparing for calving season now. For others, it's still a few months away. But regardless, when it happens, there are some things that always need to be remembered. Nebraska Extension beef educator Dr. Aaron Berger joined me on the show to give some advice on what you can do to make sure you're ready. So as we get geared up to think about calving, the first thing really to do is pay attention to the nutrition of those first calf heifers or cows, specifically in the last trimester here, the uh, two to three months leading up to calving. The plane of nutrition, cow body condition score at the time of calving really impacts the quality of colostrum, the first milk to that calf, and really getting a high quality colostrum into that calf is really important to the passive immunity of that calf and really can have an impact not only short term on that calf health, but long term as it goes on through the production cycle. When it comes to facilities or calving supplies, what do we need to know here? You know, I think really going through facilities ahead of time, making sure all gates and uh, head catches, everything's in good working order, that lighting's uh, in place and that uh, you've just went through your calving supplies, making sure that you have adequate things on hand. I think also we mentioned colostrum. I think colostrum replacement products, visiting with your veterinarian, having some good high quality replacement colostrum products on hand uh, in the case that you need that uh, having that available ahead of time will put you in a position to get that delivered to the calf in a timely way. And weather is always an issue, especially during winter time. What do we need to know to keep calves comfortable and safeguard against any issues? Well, I think the major challenge for calf, if it's really cold at birth, of course, is getting that calf dried off, getting it up, uh, getting it to nurse, getting colostrum in it. Once those calves are dried off, they're really pretty resilient to cold temperatures. When we get into some really wet, cool conditions, that's where we can really start to have some challenges for these baby calves. And so thinking about just some management things to keep the areas where those calves are uh, being dry uh, really can be helpful to their comfort and health. And you've written that producers, that sometimes they need to know their limitations. And that mean, means uh, sometimes calling in a vet is one of the best things you can do, right? So as we think about getting ready to assist cows at calving, knowing what your skill set are, uh, reviewing what you're able to do and not able to do, uh, visiting with your veterinarian in terms of what would be a good time to call them in the event that you feel like you've reached a place where maybe you've ran into a situation where it's beyond your skill set. Having that plan in place, being decisive about those decisions, uh, timeliness is really important to uh, calf health and survival as we go through a, a challenging delivery. And so again, just knowing where you're at and making a decision in a pretty quick way if you run into something that's beyond your capability. 